Montreal. In some places, toxic paints end up in landfills or incinerators. But here in Quebec, there's an innovative program that's getting attention from countries all over the world. A program that doesn't get rid of paint, but transforms it. Come spring, more and more people show up at this Montreal depot to unload their old cans of paint. Especially now because of the springtime, so everybody wants to clean their house and they bring paint uh, more now than they used to. Isabelle Tétro carefully sorts through what's brought in to see what can be sent to the paint recycling plant. As an environmentalist, she's happy to see the paint kept out of landfills and storm sewers. You don't want to drink it? bring it. <laughs> and paint is a problem for the environment. Latex paint is composed of many things. It actually contains uh, solvents and pigments. Uh, it may contain some formaldehyde, uh, methylene chloride, benzene, toluene, which are harmful substances for both the aquatic wildlife and the humans. If it's disposed of uh, improperly, it may contaminate the food chain, underground water reserves. <laughs> Since 2001, it's the law in Quebec that cities and towns have to bring used paints here. Peinture récupérée in the heart of the province, Victoriaville. The program is funded by a 25 cent levy on every can of new paint that's sold. And municipalities pay a small fee too, less than they used to to bury the paint. Last year, 5 million kilos of paint cans and their contents were processed by the workers here. Paint from all over Quebec, from the Maritimes, and from Vancouver, too. Martine Deloge is in charge. Everything is sort of like oil product is put together and um, varnished together, stained. Everything is sort of by product. That's the first step. Some of it can't be identified, so it can't be recycled. It's not the original container, yes, so we don't we know no what's idea. in it. The paints are then further sorted, this time by color. The old cans crushed and sent out to a metal recycler. And old paint is transformed into 17 fashionable colors. The barrels of old paint are tested for color and consistency, and samples are taken. Based on those samples and going by eye and instinct, new paints are remixed. You will have blue in it, you have yellow, yellow you have orange over there. The newly mixed paints are packaged in fresh paint cans and go onto the market as boomerang paint. It sells for about $12. We're just flying out. And for the employees who work around the clock here, it's a point of pride that with each shift, they're doing the environment a world of good. People are really proud to work here, and it's a good feeling. When you see, uh, let's say like, 300, 3,000 barrels all of a sudden right in front of you, you say, oh my God, this is, whew, this is going like a mountain in the nature. And they plan to continue their expansion. With new machinery, they hope to increase their output and meet the ever-increasing demand for both a place to bring old paints and the new paints that are made here. Nancy Wood, CBC News, Victoriaville, Quebec.